Okay, continuing with our discussion of acceleration, now we're going to talk about average versus instantaneous acceleration. Uh, the, from the point of view of this uh, class, we're only really going to be looking at situations where we consider the acceleration to be constant throughout the motion. This means that we're not going to make an important distinction between average and instantaneous acceleration. We're just going to treat it like it's always accelerating at the same rate. This isn't reasonable. You probably know if you're driving a car or something like that, it's easier to accelerate from a lower speed to a slightly higher speed than it is to accelerate when you're already going pretty fast. Um, acceleration probably is fairly rarely a constant thing, but for all the models that we're going to use in this class and until you have a mathematical background in calculus, it's fairly hard to deal with situations of changing acceleration, so we're not really going to get into average versus instantaneous acceleration. Alright, let's do one more problem here, and we're just going to hit a problem where uh, we have to solve that equation a little bit more. When jumping out of a plane, a skydiver accelerates at negative 9.8 meters per second. Squared. The negative here, by the way, refers to the direction. And it's made negative because it would be down. And we know that uh, it's fairly standard to call up our positive direction. Assuming that the jumper starts from rest. Uh, oh, it said that the time was 2.4 seconds. What is their final velocity? So A equals V2 minus V1 over T. Everybody's a vector. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to call this, by the way, negative 9.8 meters per second squared and I'll use the value y, which is typically used in the vertical direction to represent up. So, negative 9.8 meters per second squared up equals a v2, that's what we're looking for, minus 0 divided by the time of 2.4 seconds and uh, v2 minus 0 is just v2 over 2.4 seconds, negative 9.8 meters per second squared, up, so V, um, I'll multiply both sides by 2.4, and V2 is going to work out to be negative 23.52 meters per second up. Negative up really means 23.52 meters per second down. If you prefer. So uh, a brief discussion about average and instantaneous acceleration and one more example. And that's uh, enough for acceleration.